بسم الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته اللهم أنت ربي لا إله إلا أنت خلقتني وأنا عبدك وأنا على عهدك ووعدك ما استطعت أعوذ بك من شر ما صنعت أبوء لك بنعمتك علي وأبوء بذنبي فاغفر لي فإنه لا يغفر الذنوب إلا أنت Thank you so much for joining today's live. I hope we will all be benefited from it. Today's session will be a little bit different. Instead of doing a Tajweed session, I will tell you all a beautiful story. And guess who we have here? Baby Fatima. Say assalamu alaikum. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us many stories in the Holy Quran. Each one of them teaches us a great lesson for the people who understand. Today I will tell you a story about Adam and Iblis, which is mentioned in many surah in the Holy Quran. Surah Araf is one of them. Before I tell you the story, let me recite the portion from Surah Al-Araf, verses 1 to 25. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ص كتاب فلا يكون في صدرك حرج من فلا يكون في صدرك حرج منه لتنذر به وذكرى للمؤمنين اتبعوا ما ولا تتبعوا من دونه أولياء قليلا ما تذكرون وكم
العيش قليلا ما تشكرون ولقد خلقناكم ثم صورناكم ثم قلنا ثم قلنا للملائكة اسجدوا لآدم فسجدوا فسجدوا إلا إبليس لم يكن من الساجدين قال ما منعك ألا تسجد إذ أمرتك قال أنا خير منه خلقتني من نار وخلقته فاخرج إنك من الصاغرين قال أنظرني إلى يوم يبعثون قال إنك من المنظرين قال شاكرين قال اخرج منها مذؤوما مدحورا لمن تبعك منهم لأملأن جهنم لأملأن جهنم منكم أجمعين ويا آدم اسكن أنت وزوجك الجنة فكلا من حيث شئتما ولا تقربا هذه الشجرة فتكونا من الظالمين فوسوس لهما الشيطان ليبدي لهما ما سوآتهما وقال ما نهاكما ربكما عن هذه الشجرة إلا أن تكونا ملكين إلا أن تكونا ملكين أو تكونا من الخالدين وقاسمهما فدلاهما بغرور فلما ذاق الشجرة بدت لهما سوآتهما وطفقا وطفقا يخسفان عليهما من ورق الجنة وناداهما Why? Well,
الأرض مستقر ومتاع إلى حين قال فيها تحيون وفيها تموتون قال فيها تحيون وفيها تموتون ومنها تخرجون Now is story time, and the story is about Adam and Iblis. Couple of very interesting points before I start. It is important for us to know why Allah has created humankind. Why Allah has created our father Adam alayhi salam. When Allah told the angels that he will create human, the angels immediately ask, O oh Allah, are you going to create someone? Who will create chaos on earth? Who will create lots of mischief on earth? Allah said, I know what you don't know. This discussion is so beautiful. It is mentioned in Surah Baqarah. In Surah Baqarah, Allah said he has created Adam alayhi salam. Let us spend few moments on how he created Adam alayhi salam. The Quran uses several, several words. Turab, teen, salsal, hama'im, masnoon. These Arabic words mean dust, soil, clay, and dark clay. We need to know why all these words are used for the same creation. Because it is depicting different stages of the creation. Amazingly and interestingly, Allah took dust from different parts of the earth. We know the soil in the earth is of different color. We have lighter color soil, dark color soil, brown, red. We have many colors of soil. Allah took different color of soil from different parts of the earth. Mountains, valleys, deserts. Allah put it all together and all these information is coded in our genes. As we know from modern science, gene determines heredity, the characteristic of offspring. Alhamdulillah, this is so amazing. We have human of different colors today, and all of those information was coded in the genes of Adam alayhi salam. Another fascinating point that you may be amazed. Adam alayhi salam was created very tall. Do you know how tall? Around 60 feet like a six-story building tall. As he descends to earth, his height was decreased. Now the main story. At the beginning of Surah Al-A'raf, Almighty Allah revealed, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ صَوَّرْنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ قُلْنَا ثُمَّ قُلْنَا اسجدوا لآدم فسجدوا فسجدوا إلا إبليس لم يكن من الساجدين Regarding Adam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed And surely we created you and gave you the shape of a human being then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands the angels to prostrate to Adam. All the angels prostrated, except for one. Do you know who? Iblis. He refused and didn't want to prostrate to Adam. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked Iblis, Why is that you didn't prostrate to Adam, although I commanded you to? Out of arrogance, Iblis replied, I am better than Adam. You created me from fire, and you created Adam from clay. Iblis thought that cl fire was better than clay. In other words, he thought that he was better than Adam. Do you know what happened next? Allah banished Iblis from paradise. He, Allah told Iblis, get out from this paradise for you are among those who are humiliated and disgraced. Iblis then said, 
Since you already banished me, I will prove to you that most of your slaves are ungrateful. I will come from their back, front, left, and right, and turn them away from the straight path. Over here, shaitan means that he will he can attack human being from any side. He can come from the front or the back or any angle. And that he will convince us to go astray. Allah repeats, قَالَ خُرُجْ مِنْهَا مَذْؤُمًا مَدْحُورًا لَمَنْ تَبِعَكَ مِنْهُمْ لَأَمْلَأَنَّ جَهَنَّمَ Get out from here, disgraced and expelled, and whoever follows you, I will surely have a place for them in hellfire. Basically, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling Iblis again to get out from paradise. Not only that, but also, Whoever does not obey Allah will surely have a place waiting for them in hellfire. After this, an interesting event happened in paradise. Allah tells Adam and his wife Eve to dwell in paradise and enjoy. He tells them you can do anything and eat anything, except from a specific tree. Allah tells them not to eat from this tree as a test to see if they obey Allah. Then Iblis comes and whispers in Adam, Adam's ear. He, he gives him lots of ideas and, tells, and con tries to convince him to eat from the tree. He says many things like, it, all, the only reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want you to eat from the tree is because if you do, you will become an angel. Obviously this is not true, but Iblis was just trying to convince them to eat from the tree, as he promised before. So finally, Adam and Eve got convinced, and they ate from the tree. Then Allah asks, Why did you eat from the tree? Is, didn't I forbid you to eat from this tree? Indeed, shaitan is an open enemy unto you. Adam and Eve then say, Qala rabbana walamna anfusana our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. If you do not bestow your mercy upon us and continue to forgive us, we will surely be among the losers. Allah forgives them, but tells them to get down to earth and leave paradise. He tells them to dwell and enjoy their time there, but only for a fixed amount of time. He also warns them for enmities and jealousy. He says, therein you shall live, and therein you shall die. And you will be resurrected from there. Meaning, Allah is saying that Adam and Eve shall live in the earth and die in the earth and be, res and be resurrected on the day of judgment. There is a great lesson in this story. You can see both Iblis and Adam were commanded to get out from paradise and get out from paradise and go to earth. And they were both and they were both also wrong and disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The only difference is that Iblis was was arrogant and he did not fix himself and repent. But Adam and Eve repented and they seek they seeked for Allah's forgiveness. Because of his arrogance, Iblis will be doomed and thrown into the hellfire. Because of his repentance, at repentance Adam will be rewarded and, and be rewarded with Jannah again. Little brothers and sisters, we should always do istighfar for our mistakes, even if it is small, and seek Allah's mercy and forgiveness. Thank you again for watching, joining, and supporting my life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our good deeds and forgive us for any mistakes and shortcomings. Now Fatima may return. Just one second. Last time I want to be tired today. I'm just tired. Okay, let's go.
You have to sit here. You have to sit here. Salam di ito, Balo. I'm too tired. First, say salam. No. Don't want to? Balo, tell, I'm tell, say I'm too tired. Balo? Balo ni ito. You just say I'm tired. <laughs> Say salam alaikum. No, no, no. Uh, so at least say you're tired. Eh? Say, I'm, well, look, say I'm too tired. Say I'm too tired. <laughs> Inshallah, next time Fatima will come. Allahumma alim al ghaybi wa shahada, fatir al samawati wal ard, rabbi kulli shay'i wa malika, ashadu an la ilaha illa ant, a'udhu bika min sharri nafsi wa min sharri shaytani wa shirki, wa an aqtarifa ala nafsi su'an au ajurruhu ila muslim. Raditu billahi rabba wa bil islam dina wa bi muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Jazakumullahu khairan wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.